And tonight in Hannity's America, left-wing Democrat Maxine Waters is defending herself against accusations that her close ties to a Boston bank might well affect her ability to serve impartially on the House Financial Services Committee. Now, the Wall Street Journal reports that Ms. Waters has been closely tied to Boston's one United Bank since 2004, when she acquired between a quarter and a half a million dollars worth of that bank's stock. But not only that, until recently, her husband served on the bank's board. One United then received $12 million worth of TARP money. And get this, Ms. Waters said she was, quote, unaware that the bank was bailed out, even though she called the Treasury Department on the bank's behalf. Now, in a statement released earlier today, Representative Waters said, quote, Treasury officials admit that the decision to distribute TARP funds to One United Bank was based on the merits of the bank's request, not based on political influence. Now, I'm not sure how much credibility Ms. Waters has on banking issues, but we'll let you decide. Now, take a look at what she had to say about Fannie and Freddie back in 2004. Mr. Chairman, we do not have a crisis at Freddie Mac, and in particular at Fannie Mae, under the outstanding leadership of Mr. Frank Raines. With a keen financial mind like that guiding it, no wonder One United was having trouble in the first place. President Obama went face to face with an unfriendly audience yesterday when our not so business friendly leader spoke to a group of top business execs in the country. Now that recipe for a disaster lands the president in tonight's edition of Liberal Translation. I think you will find that this is actually an administration that uh, also wants you to succeed in the same way that you want us to succeed. <laughs> As I said before, uh, I am a strong believer in the ability of the free market to generate wealth and prosperity that's shared across the board. I think there are times where sometimes our economy gets out of balance. This is obviously one of those times. And so government has to intervene in a crisis. All right, Mr. President, I think I'd stick to speeches in front of Democratic cheerleaders from now on. And by the way, don't forget the teleprompter. You need it. Now, President Obama seems to be striking out when it comes to the support from Major League Baseball pitchers. Now, first, it was three-time World Series champion Curt Schilling campaigning with Senator John McCain during the 2008 presidential cycle. And now one of baseball's promising young stars is voicing his opinion on President Obama. Atlanta Braves pitcher James Parr was asked by Sports Illustrated what he is, quote, really sick about hearing. Well, what was the right-hander's response? Barack Obama. Parr told the magazine, quote, I'm not saying he's bad or good, but he's not the savior with the economy. He acts like it's America's own fault that we're in this. Now, I know some of you may be asking, well, why should the president listen to a rookie baseball player? Well, just think about this. Even with his record of 1-0, he's got a far better record than the president has in selecting cabinet secretaries. And finally tonight, an 8-year-old Girl Scout is in trouble with the Girl Scouts of America. Why? For selling too many cookies. Take a look at her infringement. Hi, I'm Wild Day Freeborn, and I need you to buy some cookies because I'm trying to sell 12,000 to help my church go to summer camp. And also, it's not just because of summer camp. Selling cookies will help girls across the nation afford to go to Girl Scouts. Now, that was a YouTube video that Wilde made to sell cookies to her community. Newsweek magazine reports that the Girl Scouts of America wasn't happy with Little Wilde's sales pitch because it bans the sale of cookies online. Wilde's dominating web presence also ruffled the feathers of a few jealous parents. According to one parent, quote, if you have an individual girl that creates a web presence, well, she can suck the opportunity from other girls. Ironically, the Girl Scouts perform the cookie selling exercise to teach young girls entrepreneurial skills and it seems like some of the other young members have a little bit more business savvy than some of the higher-ups good job wild 
and I think I'm going to buy cookies from her online. She deserves it. She earned it. And that is the news tonight from Hannity's American.